George Soros has experienced harsh criticism for concealing $18 billion from the IRS in what specialists are calling the greatest assessment of void in U.S. history. Soros exchanged $18 billion of his fortune to a private philanthropy he controls with a specific end goal to shield it from the Internal Revenue Service. WallStreetJournal.com reports, this might be the single greatest duty of void in U.S. history. Yet nobody on the privilege or left appears to have raised an eyebrow. Genuine expense change is predicated on the rule that all pay ought to be exhausted at a low rate once, and just once. Be that as it may, a significant part of the riches that Mr. Soros invested years moving into his open society foundations will never be settled. An endowment of billions of dollars of acknowledged stock escapes any capital increases impose, and the domain assess too. So Mr. Soros can give acknowledged stock that open society foundations can exchange without the administration consistently taking a cut. There's additional. At the point when a man gives untaxed, acknowledged resources for a private establishment, he may likewise deduct up to 20% of its reasonable worth on his own arrival, conveying forward this conclusion for a long time. This twofold discount might be the sweetest arrangement in the expense code. The contributors likewise can hold control of the cash inside the private establishment for a considerable length of time or even a very long time before it is dispensed. Since the establishment can utilize relatives at six-figure pay rates for life to regulate it, the umbilical line to the contributor never must be cut. Congress should quit disregarding this expense shirking plan. The super-rich have just emptied several billions into private establishments. Yet the figure could soon be in the trillions. Stamp Zuckerberg has promised to give away 99% of his Facebook shares, right now assessed to be worth someplace around $70 billion, and a lot of it will go to an establishment his family controls. Bill Gates and Warren Buffett have each put generally $30 billion tax exempt into the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. This has left the establishment so flush that it burned through $500 million on a 12 section of land, 900,000 square foot office complex in Seattle for its 1,500 representatives. This is altruism? I don't scrutinize these extremely rich people's entitlement to do with their cash as they wish. I'm essentially contending that Congress shouldn't let the rich and politically effective utilize private establishments to escape tax assessment. This escape clause is one purpose behind an oddity in our generally dynamic duty code, the main 1% of workers pay a successful assessment rate of 23%, however the best 0.001% pay just 18%. Mr. Buffett has unctuously reviled the way that he pays a lower successful expense rate than his secretary. His recommendation is that Congress raise assesses on capital increases. In any case, Regardless of whether the duty rates were lifted, say, to half, Mr. Buffett still wouldn't need to pay it on the many billions of dollars he puts into private establishments, and he would in any case have the capacity to deduct a fifth of that commitment on future assessment forms. This assessment partiality may be solid to advance authentic charitable exercises. A huge number, for example, the Gatesses and David Koch have chivalrously given to battle disease and jungle fever or give alleviation to tropical storm and quake casualties. However, others, including Mr. Soros and Michael Bloomberg, have transformed private establishments into monstrous true campaigning operations for greater government and liberal causes like higher leased wages, weapon control, widespread human services, and a carbon charge. Mr. Soros' $18 billion present alone is what might as well be called perhaps 100 heritage foundations. This sort of weaponized magnanimity can possibly undermine the American free venture framework. Truly, billions go to bunches on the right, as well, from Mr. Koch and others. Be that as it may, paying little respect to belief system, is there any valid reason why tax shouldn't be gathered before the cash is given away? What message does it send that the Republican expense change bills hold this trillion dollar proviso for the super rich, in the meantime as the House design takes out the reception credit for white-collar class families who need to help youngsters?
One straightforward arrangement would be for Congress to apply the capital picks up assessment to resources of more than $1 million preceding they are exchanged to a philanthropy. This could even back slicing the capital picks up rate to 15% for everybody. Then again, or maybe furthermore, Congress could top derivations for any offered family to $250,000 a year. Under this sort of plan, Mr. Soros would have the capacity to discount just a small part of his multi-billion dollar blessing. This isn't a contention against philanthropy. In any case, benevolent and compelling giving isn't spurred by tax reductions. 66% of Americans don't separate their conclusions, yet millions give until the point when it harms. In the 1980s, singular gifts to foundations surged, even as the best expense rate, and in this way the most extreme estimation of the discount, tumbled from 70% to 28%. The inquiry is whether an assessment code that empowers dynastic family establishments is useful for America. In the event that Congress quit giving very rich people a chance to empty cash tax exempt into the establishment modern complex, it would go far toward bringing down rates and influencing the duty to code more attractive for everybody. This would enable the economy to develop quicker, which is the most ideal approach to help those in require.